not we are so random You bring the darkness to the light, split the atom I ignore the fact that this will never last Your words come out so soothing That I forget that this thing is confusing Having such a blast But don't ask where my head is at Cause I'm cruising through the rush of us I don't care about love, just need your touch Good morning, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, December 30th. We are on day five, we're in Fatburn and it's amazing. I literally can't even explain to you guys. I mean, as much as my face probably doesn't look like it has it together because I just got out of the shower, I feel amazing. Like compared to a week ago, like compared to right after Christmas, around Christmas time, like literally, <laughs> It was like, I felt like I was gonna explode. I felt like my stomach hated me. I felt like everything and it was just awful. And here we are in day five, the day that we all look forward to after fat burn and thank God. I keep saying that I've got like leftover eye makeup, so please ignore. Also, this guy popped up, super fun. We're gonna ignore it. Day five, crushing it, I'm feeling amazing. And honestly, just having you guys all doing this with me, I've had so many people reaching out saying they jumped on the same day because they were inspired and we're all doing it together and it's amazing. So thank you so, so much for everybody supporting me so far. This has been awesome and I'm gonna keep vlogging every day this week so that you guys can see how we feel. I'm feeling lighter, I feel, you know what I mean when you feel lighter you also feel like you feel skinny you feel like like you're not super skinny but you feel skinny because on the inside out you literally feel like you can do anything you feel like there's nothing where it shouldn't be like everything just feels so much better so I feel lighter I have so much more energy I keep saying this but compare back to day one go look at my energy that day it was awful I have energy today I'm excited to take it on I also wanted to let you guys know that because I have some fun plans in the works for my lean and green meal today I actually am trying to save on condoms all day so you guys already saw my first feeling today I went ahead and tried the coffee shake blended with the mocha blast it was actually decent not bad I think I put too much ice in there but it was still not bad had that this morning I'm gonna move on to my second fueling I'm gonna have the campfire s'mores bar this is probably one of the best bars they make super super yummy the baby marshmallows are everything but I'm gonna have a bar and try and save on my condiments because we've got a fun lean and green planned for today I actually realized I had some of these ingredients already just in my fridge from like leftover I thought I was going to be making buffalo cauliflower and it didn't end up happening and I actually had some cauliflower leftover so I'm going to make a fun recipe. We're going to have some fun with that today. I think I'm going to get Zach to join me and we'll we'll try a new recipe. That being said, saving on condiments, I'm going to have a bar and then I'm also starting my water, going for my full gallon today. Also, I've had a lot of questions on this water bottle. I absolutely love it. It just keeps me motivated throughout the day. Like you can see there's different times on the bottle and it just like keeps you going. No, you don't have to drink a full gallon of water every day you only have to drink 64 ounces but I try to double it just because it makes me feel better the more water you drink the more your body craves water so that's why I try and keep that up also not sure what's happening with this piece so I'm gonna go ahead and start my water today. I've had some questions on this bottle specifically. I always leave the link down in my description box below if you guys wanna get the same one. We can be twinning. I was also gonna mention to you guys for anybody who is just starting their Optavia journey or just getting into program or kind of realizing what that all means, I will link down below my Amazon storefront for anybody who is just starting. I have all of my Optavia must-haves in there. So anybody who's just starting, it's like in my storefront, I've got the Dash Mini Waffle Maker, I've got this water bottle, I've got the Zulai hand mixer, I've got everything you could possibly need to get started on your program and if you're just lost and trying to find the right gadgets and tools and ingredients and everything, click down below because that will definitely help you out. Also, if you are new here, let me bring you up to speed. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. My name is Ashley, welcome back to my channel. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, all that fun stuff. I'd love to have you join our little community here, welcome. If you don't know what Octavia is, let me bring you up to speed. So I'm in the middle of documenting what I'm calling my Schlee's Health Journey series, which is going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 program. And if you don't know what that is, I'll link all of the information down below. Feel free to send questions my way. Basically, we're eating five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day spaced out by two to three hour increments so that we can achieve fat burn. And I have officially hit fat burn today on day five. Usually takes about four days to get there. I think I might have gotten there a little bit sooner, but we'll see. We're here and we're crushing it and I'm absolutely happy to have you here if you are 
just joining us. If you are looking for support or you're looking for motivation or if you're looking for somebody to just do this with you, I'm here. Feel free to reach out. I'd love to connect. And welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series. <laughs> So I am gonna have my bar, have my water. I have to run a couple errands. I'm gonna get ready for the day. I will check back in with you when we will probably have fueling number three, if not possibly my lean and green early because I'm really excited. Thank you so much for joining me and let's get started. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb A tunnel where there's no light Oh, but then you came and sat right Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and have fueling number three right now. It's about 1.30 p.m. This is the cheddar milk, cheddar milk. This is the cheddar buttermilk biscuit and I just waffled it. Like I said, I'm trying to save on condiments today so I'm just gonna have this plain by itself but you could put a laughing cow cheese wedge, you could do cream cheese, you could put all that fun stuff on there if you want to. I'm just gonna have it like this today and I will check back in with you when it's time for our lean and green meal. Okay guys, so it is officially time for lean and green meal and I am psyched out of my mind. <laughs> Like, I've been looking forward to this all day because I'm trying a new recipe. I wanted to spruce things up for the week just because I've been eating my meal prep and that's been great, but I like to throw in kind of like a fun treat here and there throughout the week. And today we are going to be taste testing the buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza. Does that not sound bomb or what? Also, Zach's gonna be joining us. <laughs> Anyway, so we're gonna try out the buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza. We actually just put our crusts into the oven. We're gonna assemble the sauce that goes on top. And when we're done making this entire recipe, it is said to be a full lean and green. I've done all the measurements. I'll list all the measurements down below. If this works out, I'll do a full video on it just so that you guys can see the full recipe, but we're still just trying it out and seeing if it works. And honestly, buffalo chicken sounds delicious. I actually had most of the ingredients here already. So I was like, why not? We're gonna go ahead and make the buffalo chicken pizza for our lean and green meal today one full lean and green that's pizza I'm down so Zach's gonna join me because he heard that I was gonna make buffalo chicken pizza and was like yes please so we're gonna make the sauce really quick show you guys how we make it toss it in the oven and then we'll taste test okay so we need to put in I already forgot all right, we're gonna start with our reduced fat cream cheese. I'm just gonna do a tablespoon of that. Use your finger. I don't wanna get cream cheese on my finger. Look at that. All right. I'm kind of missing some though. Okay, well. <laughs> we need a scooper. I don't have a scooper. We need a scooper. Two tablespoons of our red hot. One tablespoon of reduced fat ranch. I might do a little bit less of it. I'm not the biggest fan of ranch. Oh, weird. Okay, mix it up. Put the peppers in the buffalo sauce. All right, we're gonna throw in some chopped bell peppers. And then some shredded chicken. And mix it up. We're gonna grab the crusts out of the oven and top them with our sauce mixture. And this cauliflower crust was grated cauliflower. We made this from scratch just to know the difference since we used a pre-made one earlier this week. So we're gonna put this right on top. Then we're gonna sprinkle a quarter cup of our reduced fat Mexican cheese on top. is pop these in the oven for another five minutes to melt the cheese and then we're gonna taste them all right guys just pulled them out of the oven cheese is melted this looks so delicious oh my god don't they look so good honey mm -hmm. all right the lighting please ignore it's getting darker out like I said it gets dark at like four 
So it's about 3.30 now and it's already happening. Our buffalo chicken pizza is ready to go and I am pumped. Does that not look so good? You are in a total shadow, honey. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully you can see Zach. No, All right. No. It's better. <laughs> We're gonna taste test our buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza and if this is delicious, we will do a full video. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna pick the best piece, this piece. I'm getting impatient here, Ashley. I need to eat this right now. I know, I'm kind of trying to find a good piece. Okay, ready? Cheers. <laughs> yep. That's better than the other one. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. This is really good. <laughs> I kind of want to just keep eating it. The creaminess of the sauce. And I will say, when you grate your own cauliflower, it's still better than the store-bought. I'll tell you that right now. When I grate it. When Zach grates it. This is bomb! What do you think, honey? I'm putting it down. Otherwise, the entire thing's gonna be gone. All right. It's official. New favorite leaning green. This has to be a thing. Okay, this, 10 out of 10. Literally delicious. I thought it was gonna be good and I saw the recipe and I was like, we need to try it. But oh my God, that is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so now that we know that's delicious and everyone needs to try it, comment down below if you guys wanna see a full video. That was super, super good and super easy. Honestly, like I said, the most time consuming piece is grating the cauliflower. But after that, it's totally fine. We're gonna go devour the rest of our pizzas. <laughs> Comment down below if you wanna see the full video. I'm gonna go finish my lean and green down there. <laughs> and I will check back in with you guys for fueling number four. All right, guys, this is becoming a trend. I am having my fourth fueling and it is the velvety hot chocolate. And I think it's just because I miss Christmas time. Christmas will live on. This reminds me of Christmas, reminds me of all the coziness. So I'm sipping on velvety hot chocolate and I'm just getting some editing done really quick. Um, this just makes my night. It's just so cozy and warm and sweet and yummy. And I feel like I get a little treat at the end of the night and it's nice. So. Anyway, I'm gonna sip on this, fueling number four, and I will check in with you guys for fueling number five. I was facing all the sunlight While our feet swung freely from the bridge The bridge You asked if I'd say okay. you Last feeling of the night, we're gonna do some chocolate fudge pudding with a little bit of extra whipped cream. I had one condiment left for the day and two tablespoons of whipped cream is gonna count as one condiment on your program. I am pumped. I feel like we all know that I love the chocolate pudding at this point, but I feel like we've had a pretty fabulous, successful day in fat burn today. It's been pretty nice, no issues. I feel like we are off to the races and I'm feeling really excited about the new year, really pumped to see what's in store. Now that I have my health back on track, we are really, really going for it. And I'm just so excited that I get to do this with all of you. So thank you so much for sticking around. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload because I will be uploading a video every single day this week. Thank you so, so much for everybody's support on my channel so far. I'm so glad that we get to do this together. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.